Hey guys, welcome back. It's Wado 76 here, and today I'm going to do a bit of a different video where I'm going to be updating my build that I've made a while ago and I use in practically every video. My build called the Flying Flat. Now, I use it a lot because it's very efficient and easy to get around, but it's been a while since I updated it and it could use some improvements, honestly. So, first things first, you might have noticed that these things fall off whenever I launch, so we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of practically everything that's not like the essentials because they usually fall off and they once through updates they change the gold ones can stay as i've updated them a while ago um but i did want to kind of move this little uh glue block to more of a convenient place so like there is I, I feel like in the back it's kind of annoying you can keep the booster there i feel like that's fine <clears throat> and overall i just wanted to keep the design sleek but not too thin to be completely honest i will keep the cannons but i do want to delete them for now um because they can be used for some stages for the candies i'm going to delete for now and i think the gold harpoons i will delete it as well uh, just because i have better ideas for what to do with them um now with these the problem is you could get launched out of them from behind so what i had an idea to do is Yellow means you're going in, and blue means you're going to have a risk of coming out. So yellow, I want to have secured. And to make the long part short, I just want to summarize what I'm doing with this, because uh, it was quite a lot. So what I'm doing here is kind of making the back of the portal secure, so you can't fall out if you go into it. Um, but making it so you can enter through either side. So say you wanted to enter the boat through the back, you'll be teleported back, and you can go through either way you want. Um, the blue portal has no involvement in this, so you don't have to worry about it. I also wanted to add some guardrails to this side of it, uh, just to keep it even more safe. And I'll also label the portals just so you know which one you're going in. Uh, so that's the portal part of this, and kind of the seating area. And now to briefly summarize what's going on here, is I'm adding all the seating area and just making the general area around it nicer. Now I'm not really trying to impress anybody, but I did want it to make it look nice for if someone does come and hop on, or if I'm just using it around in a public area. I added a red carpet and some candy, and even a little desk in the middle just to keep you safe. Um, and I put some blue candies in the middle and underneath just in case, along with some lights. And I know last time I went overboard with the light, this time I'm kind of keeping it, keeping it to a minimum. Um, but for the back part of the ship, that's about all I'm going to do, really, regarding it specifically. Now, for the, um, for the command seat, I want to have regular old... And I, I'm not good with bindings and stuff that's changed since I've added this. Okay, well, that, that shouldn't be connected to that. Cool. Wait, 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 hold on. I didn't even notice the commands in the corner of the screen. Right, activate F button. Ah, okay, that's not what I want to happen. I don't want it to activate the glue. Alright. Watto figures out how things work. Now what we do is we add one of these. I always add it in front of me because that's where I usually am. We'll add one here, and we'll add one here. So they're easy access, but I always have one because I am the main person here. Um... We'll add some up here too, but these aren't the amazing ones, so they get to go there. And I think those are worse, so I'm not going to put any. But there's actually, you know, I will put some. Put them here and here. And if things really get super bad, I guess there's these two. I actually don't know. I don't know much about this. Easter jetpack and star jetpack. Okay. Yeah, there's... And then this is the ultra jetpack. Okay. Okay. And this was the almost one hour spent of the defense and attack designing time mostly defense um, with the force fields because i was trying to figure out how they work because they are extremely finicky and i finally got them to work but not interesting at all so i finally got them all to work and i decorated a little bit um, nothing really else changed from that except for some cannons added and some more cool stuff so i'm gonna take it for a spin see ya all right finally I think this can be flown, and things won't go crazy, except for that I uh, have that. Alrighty! Alright, this feels a lot more safe, and now I think I can actually act- wait, hold on. Let me get down to a stage. Alrighty! 
you now have insane amounts of protection approximately 114 force fields so 114 times 20 is approximately if my math is correct 2280 um and that's the amount of hit points this shield can take before uh it falls as you can see it's still going strong so i don't know how long it can actually survive i don't know why it's not activating on this it should probably oh it takes one hit off of them it seems um, and one hit when they leave all right it seems like it has a lot more juice left in it don't know why they didn't all activate but i guess they might not all be connected my theory seems like they're all connected either way we can check when we get back let's just load it back up and i know this is a lot of time lapse in this video but hey i didn't have a video and i've been sick with covid for the past couple of days now we're going to test the risky entry and safe entry uh ways also there's a pocket there i don't know if that's going to stay like that or if it's going to be filled damn that's annoying oh well actually you know not oh well let's not oh well this so for some reason all of these are slightly misaligned and i don't know why but they are so i kind of wanted to change that now they're slightly changed also that, that, that link it now but with that working i think it's probably time to end the video because uh, it's getting pretty long um <clears throat> but i just don't think the uh force fields can link for some reason in the code i don't know um i'm gonna enter through the risky way and we're gonna go see <clears throat> if it works now i didn't save it with this on um because i'm a little dumb I'm a little dumb to be honest but that's a time a problem for another time so for now i'm just gonna launch this and nothing should be anchored but <clears throat> here's that something is anchored all right so if i'm going away and i accidentally oh okay that's not that's not forward if i jump out forward it's not gonna oh no i fell out oh well <coughs> in theory i should be able to come and save my boat regardless um with the safe entry let's see if the safe entry works it does work isn't that nice and now i go back here and I re, re get my ship. Yay, all is good. All is well. But uh oh. Let's say it gets hit by some rocks and that falls. That's not good. But uh, we have nothing to actually do it because the keybinds don't work. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And comment if you want me to use this boat more often. Um, or if you think you've seen enough of it and don't want to see any more of it. Um, but that's about it for today. Um, I had a lot of fun making this. Um, and I really appreciate all support over the past couple of days and weeks. And this thing is just going to keep going in circles until it stops. And I know I promised to go into the risky entry thing. So if you like, commented, and subscribe, this is for you. Um... And that's kind of what happens if you go into the risky one. You just kind of get launched out. <laughs>